What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So Lenovo has released the new BIOS version 35 for the Lenovo Legion Go. This is basically a base off of BIOS S35, a rollback of the AMD PI, a fix for the 24H2 issues there, and some other stuff for EC. You can take a look at all that on the website, but I definitely wanted to get in and take a look at what kind of difference we have in performance, which we're gonna talk about. As far as updating the BIOS though, even though it shows here, the actual update wouldn't show up in space. Um, I don't know when it's supposed to, or if they're gonna go that route eventually, but I just use the website, the support website, here to go and grab the BIOS and download it. There's a readme in here, all the same information for the notes and the changes and all that. But all I have to do is download and use that file to install. Now, one important change for me here is that my TDP seems to be fixed, or at least a lot better than it was on 32, our previous main BIOS. I had a lot of issues with that in combination with the new Legion space, giving me problems with the TDP as I would change here and go to the 10 watt mode, the 15 watt auto mode, and then back into my 20 and my custom and so on, where it would just freeze up and give me all kinds of problems, sometimes hard lock the device and that type of thing. I ran around and tested a couple of different games and just kept changing my profiles around to see if I would run into the problem. And fortunately, at least so far anyways, I haven't run into it giving me any serious issues swapping my profiles this way like I was getting previously. I know a lot of other people were having issues as well, um, but I'm not sure how many people are being helped by this update. So I know it's working better for me, but let me know if you guys uh, had this issue and if this new BIOS version 35 is helping you at all when it comes to the issues we were having with TDP, whether being you know used properly or being able to swap properly without issues or getting froze up or that kind of thing. But yeah, definitely a welcome change that I was hoping to see. Hopefully it sticks and I don't run into any other major issues with TDP, though it's not perfect. There's definitely some hiccups here and there that I'm running into. Now, one big thing for me is I haven't been super happy with my Legion Go since we were on BIOS version 29 and that older GPU uh, driver update prior to our newer April one that we have now. That was like the golden time for me. We had lower temps with everything matched here across the board from 29 to 32 and 35 on our BIOS here, all at 20 watts. And yeah, they have made improvements. We were at 63C to 75C on 32. We really had a lot of thermal issues and performance issues on BIOS 32, which were compounded with the new space unfortunately and then you can see here some of that got better at 68 69 on the newer bios performance still isn't what it used to be for that game but some of that has to do with the game itself something like shadow of the tomb raider i took a look at as well just from 32 and 35 here and there's some improvements of course with the temps here and as far as performance basically the same clocks were about the same performance was about the same so unlike cyberpunk no major changes or issues and we got a little bit better when it came to like some of our thermal and performance here still nothing as good as what we had on version 29 in my opinion and with that previous driver setup i don't know what it was but that was the best time my go has ever been but i'll put up the results here for what we ultimately got though from 32 to 35 on the bios now another game i took a quick look at as well that i had on here and had some footage of was horizon and bios 32 verse 35 here again very similar um a different more difference in the clock speeds than we had over in shadow of the tomb raider but not as much as some of the cyberpunk stuff but we were definitely dropping more here and having some more issues frame time spikes and stuff like that still not back to what we were having even on 32 so something definitely wasn't running quite as well there but again everything matched up and everything and that's what we were getting for our performance so kind of hit and miss on the games there as to things being better or worse temps all in all are improved and the tdp issues i was having prior are improved with the bios update but there's definitely still other issues in there be it between space the tdp and the bios that it's just not running some of these games as smoothly as it used to be it the drivers, the BIOS, the games, whatever the case, my best time with my Legion Go was back on V29 and those drivers. And that for me is when I had the lowest temps and the games were running at their best. They've definitely made improvements here, but we definitely need to see some more fixes in Legion space, some more ironing out of the TDP stuff. And I would like to see some of this performance get a little bit straightened out because it just doesn't feel as good to me as it used to, even though I still absolutely love gaming on my Legion Go. And this update certainly helps bring me back to use the device more but i would like to see further improvement here all right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one